right, it is yet another conquest match here in this MRBC practice match. We have uh, two assaults here. Uh, I don't know if that's the Hellslinger or not. I don't really see them. Uh, executioner right there, or a Gladiator. I guess name. The uh, Thunderbolt there, Wolverine, Blackjack, and a Timberwolf slash Mad Cat. I just name there. And what do we have here? This is the last of the Brethren, two Light Max Jenner, and a Locust. Over here on the Cadre side, if I could get there in time, we have uh, Raven, Cicada, Cicada, and Cheetah. I thought there were only two. Oh, wait. Did I see two Cicadas? They're, they all look like lights, so that's why I'm a little confused. <clears throat> this must be the heavy assault lens. Uh, two Timberwolves, a King Crab, and Banshee. Ooh, I love Banshees. One of my favorite mechs. Anywho, Conquesting. Looks like uh, lights are over here capping. I'm surprised nobody grabbed Gamma on their side. I guess it doesn't matter. This is a smaller map. And we got one of uh, one of the brethren over here going for Sigma. A light mech, I assume. That would be... No, it's uh, Tiago and his blackjack. So not a light, but a medium. We got two headed to Theta. Two of the brethren headed to Theta. Raven's coming up on the sea hill, the sea hump. Or a saddle. Some people call it a saddle, some people call it the hump, some people call it the sea, whatever. People name it, that's all that matters. <laughs> we got the uh, Locust and Jenner here, capping. And I don't know if I'm lagging or not. I don't know how I would be able to tell, but... No, I shouldn't have done that. No, it's the stupid yellow bar's gonna be here. <sighs> Sorry, I don't know why that happens. It's happened every match that I've pressed tab in, which sucks. Maybe I need to change that key. Maybe I can make it a uh, E or something. But I don't know how to change spectator controls, so I don't think that's gonna happen. Looks like the cadre is attacking Tiago over here all by his lonesome, <laughs> again. <laughs> Man, uh, if the cadre moved very quickly into position, I'm sure they'd be able to catch somebody, uh, at least one of uh, the brethren members out, such as Tiago there. Got a UAV popped. Two UAVs, in fact. I don't know if this is the Cadres. Uh, yes, it is. I see it on the map. It is. They are both the Cadres. They are not seeing anything, though, as Brethren members are all over the place. Just not near them. Got that King Crab moving up. I don't know what it, what it holds for weapons, but that looked like Ultras. It's definitely Ultra AC Fire. If I hear it, I'll be able to tell for sure. So I'll be right next to him. There goes a UAV of the Cadres again. That's a lot of UAVs. These guys bring a lot of UAVs. I would much rather bring cooling. UAVs are cool and all, but if I have a seismic and um, the enemy is close enough that this UAV matters, the seismic will take care of it. Those are ultras and those are hurting. Oh, this poor Wolverine. There he goes. Oh, you don't want to be in front of this guy here. I feel like the King Crab took some damage, but I don't know if it was enough he is still forced to be reckoned with, or she, I don't know who's piloting. I guess I could check. King Crab is Herge Versed. Her Verge Diverse. Sorry <laughs> if I say that name wrong and you watch this. Um, I got Tiago over here trying to cause some distractions, but he is just going to get himself killed. Oh, but the Hat reveals its rear to a Battlemaster. That's not a good trade. Battlemaster does push forward and get shot up, though. Not a good trade for him, either. Got to know when to push, got to know when to pull back. Very important to, to know. If you could poke and poke him for free, do it. Uh, if it'll cost you, you better make sure you're willing to pay that price, whatever it is. Looks like Tiago's about to die. He got into the middle of all of them. But on the outside here, we got that uh, uh, Executioner, almost a Gladiator. <laughs> and, uh, what is this, the Battlemaster? No, that's the Thunderbolt. And he's down. Brethren are faltering. Which is unfortunate, unless they have the point lead and it's big. This is a small map though, so as long as they have a light mech... Oh, they just lost one though. As long as they have a light mech left, it'll be uh, okay for them. They'll be able to catch up. There goes another. What's it look like? Uh, four down for the Brethren, two, uh, three down for the Cadre. We got a light headed off to Sigma to cap. So that's actually going to be three versus uh, four, I think, right now. For the this fight here in the middle. Yep. 
That is actually, yeah, four versus three, as I said. I thought it was five. There's a fifth off in the distance. And, ooh, ooh, damage to the Mad Cat's very high. That Banshee's having a little bit of trouble with the Light Mech. There goes the Mad Cat. But there goes the Banshee. Uh, decent trade, if I had to say. Not so decent anymore, <laughs> since they lost uh, that Mad Cat. So it is just down to the Jenner. Uh... I feel like there's one more over here, somewhere. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, Jenner, Executioner, and the Locust, which is off in the distance, capping. Get an aerial view here. See where everybody's going. Uh, Cadres are closing in on the brother in here, but it looks like they're having a slight bit of trouble. At least the Cheetah is, because he's legged. They are lights and mediums, so... Oh, there goes the Cheetah. Oh, this is closer than... Uh, Oh no, the cheetah didn't die. My mistake. I just thought I thought it did. That's closer than it needs to be. I think it's three versus three now. I don't know what happened to the other. Other. Uh, never mind. It's a. Uh, oh, did he overheat and die? That sucks. Uh, <laughs> that was two versus one. I think one of the cadre members died when I wasn't looking. But they are going to cap now as best they can. Leg cheetah over here is going to do his best. Locust over here. I don't know the condition. Let me check. He is at 97%, they are at 41 and 59, so uh, Locust could definitely take the win here. I'm going to pop into a mech here, see their condition. Cheetah is just legged, he still has armor, so that's good for Roger that. Uh, radioactive Mush, he is not in good condition, they're almost definitely uh, XL engine there. So, we'll see how that goes. Viper over here, he is in spectacular condition, he'll be able to, I, I did not check the... Uh, points here. Uh, red team has it, so that is the brethren. They're going to get the win again. So, uh, once more, this was a conquest match that the brethren won via points. Mech-wise, it seems as if uh, they might have lost it, but in all, uh, in all honesty, uh, Viper could probably kill both of them with uh, what's left. I wonder if he's going to move in. I mean, he doesn't have to live anymore for the conquest match to end early. I mean, if he dies, the Conquest match does not end early. They have to have all the points, I believe. But with that, it is the end of the match. And another victory goes to the Brethren. But if it was Skirmish, it might have been more problematic, like the last match. Then again, though, forces wouldn't be split, so it is what it is. And that is going to be it for this match. And we'll move on to the final match.